Hello everyone and welcome back to Jatil Educational Channel. So this is the part 6 for the previous year's questions for the RSPCB exam for the JSO and JE post and this is equally important for the UGC net environmental science examination. So without wasting much time let's get started and I hope you are having your notes ready. So note down all these questions and answer. So before starting that I would like to say that there are more than 20 videos in our playlist for the RSPCB entrance. So you can check the link given in the description below. So let's start with the question. The first question is, what is the full form of NABET? And here, the correct option will be none of this. Yes, none of this option is having the correct option. So that can be also the case. But here, this option C is a bit close to the correct option. That is, National Accreditation Board for Education and Training is the correct full form for the NABET. Yes. National Accreditation Board for Education and Training is actually a board of Quality Council of India and its slogan is also important you should note down the slogan is creating an ecosystem for quality so that can be also asked so the slogan is creating an ecosystem for quality let's move to the next question the next question is the chemical oxygen demand that is COD of the organic compounds in the wastewater is determined by using which of the following oxidizing agent and the options are on the screen and here the correct option will be option number B yes potassium dichromate is used as the oxidizing agent for the COD and it is also a very good and strong oxidizing agent so apart from potassium dichromate what we can use we can use potassium iodate or potassium permanganate that is KMNO4 let's move to the next question the next question is weighting filter estimates what and actually this question is homework for you so you will mention me in the comment section that which is the correct option for this so let's move to the next question so the next question is a bit analytical question the question is it is desirable to know the frequency of a sound along with its decibel level because of which of the following reasons so read every option carefully and here the correct option is option number B. Yes, we should know the frequency of the sound as well as the decibel in which we are present because the noise is persistent and it is perceptible to the human ear to both frequency and sound pressure. So if anything is more than the required range for the human ear, then we can face trouble and our ear can be damaged. So what is the range for the human ear for the decibel that is we all should know that is from zero to 120 or 130 decibel and you should know that 0 is known as the threshold decibel level for the human ear range 0 is the threshold and if in terms of frequency we are speaking from our school days we know the frequency from the ear for the ear is 20 to 20 kilohertz so in the frequency it is 20 to 20 kilohertz in decibel it is 0 to 120 or 130 decibel so let's move to the next question the next question is very very important and you should know that time taken for the paper to degrade after disposal is how much so it is important we know that paper is degradable biodegradable but how much time it takes to degrade after its disposal and here the correct option will be option number c 10 to 30 days why because actually a typically a paper degrades after disposal in two to six weeks so that means two to six weeks means 14 to 42 days and this range is in between 10 to 30 days so option number c will be correct option that is two to six weeks it requires to degrade that is the paper let's move to the next question so the next question is also coming from the COD test the question is in COD test the organic matter is oxidized by using a strong oxidant which we have learned in the previous question so this question is in the presence of a strong acid and which is the acid used in the COD test mostly and here the correct option would be option number A yes sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 is used as acid for the COD test in the present of the strong oxidant like we have discussed KMNO4, potassium iodide and other strong oxidant let's move to the next question so the next question is the ultimate analysis of the solid waste includes the analysis of which of the following elements and here the correct option will be it was a bit confusing but the correct option will be option number c 
carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur are the elements which are analyzed using the ultimate analysis for the solid waste and here you should remember sulfur should be included because in the solid waste the sulfur bacteria are present so that will give you the idea that sulfur it should be present because this sulfur bacteria they are able to metabolize this sulfur and which is very very important for the sulfur cycle so let's move to the next question the next question is coming from the EIA part and the question is what is hard data used for EIA so read every options carefully And here the hard data in EIA means the data which is reliable which you can rely and we can conclude to some of the suggestions and decision and that should be permanent and should not subject to change with time. So that data should be permanent and reliable which is called as hard data in EIA. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the Lombard vocal response to the noise pollution refers to which of the following features or characteristic. So for many of you that will be the new terms which you have heard for the first time and here the correct option will be option number A. Yes, Lombard vocal response means louder communication for louder communication with each other animals. This is done. This response means when the animals they see there is a noise pollution they cannot communicate then they use their louder voice for the communication so in this case when the organisms use the higher amplitude for communication in response to the noise pollution it is called as Lombard vocal response so let's move to the next question the next question is from the air pollution and the question is the persistent free radicals are linked to which of the following diseases and the options are neurological cardiopulmonary gastroenteric or hepatopulmonary and here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, the persistent free radicals are linked to cause the cardiopulmonary disease. So what are these persistent free radicals? They are the pollutant that are long lived in the fine particulate matter. So for example, fine particulate matter will say particular matter 2.5. So inside them, they used to stick together with them and they live long in the atmosphere. As a result, they cause the air quality damage and they cause diseases such as cardiopulmonary disease. So let's move to the next question. The next question is very very typical and it is very tricky. The question is the BIS standard regulating the quality of packaged natural mineral water is what? So we should know what is the BIS number given to the packaged natural mineral water. And here the correct option will be option number B. Indian standards 13428 that is IS 13428 is the standard given for the packaged natural mineral water but it is also confusing that 14543 is given to the packaged mineral water so where it is not natural mentioned you should be going for this IS that is 14543 wherever it is mentioned that natural then you should go for 13428 so there is a minor difference kindly note it down so the next question is which is the most common solid waste collection service in India so here the correct option will be option number D yes curbside collection or you can say somewhere it is written KERB also so curbside collection or curb service is the most common solid waste collection service in India in the urban and suburban region where what happens is there is a particular collection point where the people have to come and they should dispose their solid waste for the further processing so let's move to the next question so the question is the annual average for the air pollution means total of dash measurements in a year so how many measurements you should take for the annual average of air pollution and here the correct option will be option number a 104 amount of measurements should be taken for a year for the annual average for air pollution that means we have 52 weeks throughout the year so every week we have to take twice that is twice weekly we should take the measurement so it will happen to be 104 measurements in a particular year so let's move to the next question the next question is which method is not used for the analysis of gases pollutant in the ambient air so i think this is the most easiest question for this video and the correct answer will be answer number d yes winkler method is also used for the actually for the 
amount of dissolved oxygen present in water for that calculation but Jacob and Hockescher, Indophenol method and Waste and Geek method are used for the analysis of gaseous pollutant. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the noise level of 50 decibel at night elevates which of the following levels of production in our body. So which hormones are elevated when we are subjected to noise level of 50 decibel at night. So here the correct option will be option number A. Our adrenaline rushes and it elevates when we are subjected to the higher noise level that is here it is given 50 decibel at night. So insulin, progesterone and cortisol are not associated but adrenaline is the hormone which is elevating when we are subjected to higher noise level. So now I would like to say that in Rajasthan's State Pollution Control Board exam, this question we discussed in the previous video. The question was the first elected Chief Minister of Rajasthan was whom? And we said that it is Hiralal Shastri but it is not the correct answer. The correct answer would be Tikaram Paliwal. So he was the first elected Chief Minister so it is mentioned elected. But if we want to know who was the first Chief Minister then we will go for Hiralal Shastri. So if we are asking for the elected then it will be Tikaram Paliwal after the independence. So I hope you are clear with the doubts and you have enjoyed this video. So subscribe the channel to get further updates and all the best for the examination. Do believe in yourself.